magic. Many wield it and even more fear it. The likes of Merlin, Potter, Lucky, my friend Chris Fetter, and Justin Willman all possess this mystic power in various unnerving forms. But where does their MP come from? Whether it's from years of research, dead mommies and daddies living inside a facial blemish, charms made of mallow, shelling out oodles of cash to wizards of the coast, or an obvious blood oath with Satan himself, we know that magic energy, mana if you will, comes in many forms. But... There is a purest magical energy out there, a clean, burning, fuel-efficient Tantra that lets you and your boys cruise the galactic coast with no worries of gas, grass, or ass. That's because for pure heart and justice per gallon, car magic has you covered. And for the grass and ass, Dapu's got that covered. Under his covers. My name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly Mostly Speaking Sentai. We're back. Oh, guys, like I said, my name is James, and <laughs> it's been a long time, Rock Him. <laughs> and guess what? We're back. We're finally back in the warm embrace of that is called Super Sentai. But, uh oh, guys, no, no, no. It's our mortal enemy, my mortal enemy, at least. That's right, cars. Yeah. Every single car I've had has been my sworn enemy. They've all been duds, freaking zeros. And is that my fault? Is that from me warm rodding the whip? Maybe a cold (laughs) sphere in it. Remember warm rodding? That's a callback from, I don't know, episode seven. Or is it from spending as little possible as I can on cars themselves? And that's why they always rusted on the bottom, rusted on top, or just leaked coolant forever i don't know guys but maybe my beautiful co-host nicole (gasps) has something to feel about it what do you think of cars they suit yeah that's why we moved to the beautiful elegant chicagoland city where you don't need a car baby yeah i mean public transit sucks in its own ways but i definitely would rather have that Oh, absolutely. Then have to deal with a car. I would rather almost miss a bus and then have to wait 12 minutes than driving to see a friend in Sag Nasty, Michigan. And then that check engine light comes on when you're not as close to the destination as it's very far from the destination, but also too far to head back. Oh, guys, check engine light. No, thank you. Check coolant light. Uh, that's a nightmare in my... I still have nightmares about that. (gasps) For real, like, that last car that I had every single time, we would fill up the coolant, be fine, start leaking, or then it wouldn't even leak coolant, but then somehow kept using it too much. I didn't like that car. Or what about when I tried to drive you to the bus and we got a flat tire? Oh, yeah. That's also a time that was very recent. You heard about that on I don't know what episode. (laughs) Or you had that car that the transmission always slipped. So Oh, that car was trash garbage. It was terrible. I still have it, but it's just like sitting in the yard. Why haven't they sold that for parts yet? Oh, because it can't move. Like, they would need to tow it somewhere, I bet. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. I remember, like, it was our first date date that you drove. I believe we were... I remember... Wait, no. Remember when we went to Grand Rapids? No, yeah, that's what I'm going to (laughs) bring up. (laughs) This guy asked what time it was, so you rolled the window down to tell him, and then you realized that you couldn't roll it back up, and you were like, God damn it. Totally (laughs) forgot about that. I was talking about the... Many times we were driving and Grand Rapids isn't as big as Chicagoland, USA, but it is oh, one compared of... compared to Chicago, it's fucking tiny. Yeah, but compared to most Michigan cities, it's very large and busy. And Nicole's car, whenever she would stop at a stoplight, there was a chance that the transmission would slip and then would not... You would have to keep kind of revving the engine to... 
to hopefully oh, yeah. it would <laughs> slip back. And the so many times people behind us would just be honking on their horns, trying to be like, why aren't you moving? It's a green light. And wouldn't you always try to like coast up to a red light to prevent full stopping? Yeah, you had to, if I remember right, you had to like stop a certain way so that it wouldn't do that or something. Uh, I remember when my Buick LeSabre, which this was one of Nicole and I's first cars wasn't it that was my favorite fucking yeah it's so great until the end something was slip i think it was also a transmission issues which is why i was like i'm just going to get a new car it's way too expensive to fix this piece of shit that keeps shitting out on me it would rock the entire car violently it would be like whoa 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 it, and uh, yeah. ooh, sing that. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it, it sounds more like you're saying okay. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, you sound like Catwaith Goldthwit. <laughs> All right, guys. What uh, are we saying? Car Ranger. I, oh, but cars. I, yes, cars, guys. It's all about cars now, but also it's all about comedy now. So. Nicole, we're yes-anding everything any bit a guest brings to us. Yeah. We also, guys, there's no guest today because this is this is our introductory episode into yeah. Car Ranger. And on top of that, uh-huh. when I do things like... <laughs> I'm going to be putting in like Hanna-Barbera sound effects because it's bonkers and kooky, guys. That's a werewolf, but not a car. Cars go. (laughs) Nicole. Don't look at me because you want me to do that noise back at you. I got to move this microphone. I can't see your mouth. And I'm I'm anticipating you It looks like you just have a giant clown nose on the bottom of your face. Oh, clowns make this noise. When you squeeze their nose, no. they also go, they also go, hey, kid, get out of here. Because eh. you're, what? Eh. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say more than that. <laughs> clowns do also make, oh, clowns also go, she, a motherfucker could use some money. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, guys, will there be clowns in Car Ranger? We hope so. God, I want, guys, if you have a personal link with ICP, let them know we want them on the pod. No, we fucking don't. Let them know a single person on this podcast wants them on the pod. No, we fucking don't. Yes, I do. No, we fucking don't. I was actually talking about Nicole. Nicole wants them so bad. She's like, oh. She's like, shit, a motherfucker could use a clown. I will not let you into our home. (laughs) I once wrote a poem for an ex-girlfriend called... The only one yep, who would... we're back, guys. <laughs> James talking about his ex-girlfriends. Uh, you know it's official. It was like, you're the only one who would kiss a clown because I was a juggalo. Oh, man, it sucked. And I, like, called her, like, emotional on the phone and read it to her. And you insist <laughs> that we would be friends in high school. We like, would if have. we were in the same uh, building... What? What? You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I mean yes, if and we were in high school this <laughs> yeah at the same time. We were. That would not happen. Yes, we were. You were a senior. I was a. F- I mean, you were a senior, and I was a freshman. Nope. Yes, it. W- remember? Yes, and I believe we would have been chilling and Except relaxing. Except when you're trying to say a fact that is wrong. <laughs> hey guys, it's right, guys. Nicole. Uh, is three years older than me. Uh huh. So we would have been hanging out watching Invader Zim, and I would have appreciated it. No. And you would have too. You would have had someone to hug and say, "It's gonna be okay, Goop. It's gonna be okay. Your sweaty head." And you would have been like, "Hey, uh, now I'm the only one who will kiss a clown." Nope. You're the only one who kisses this clown, baby. Well, also Frank. You're definitely still a clown, that's for sure. Oh, pifu, pifu. <laughs> I hate that so much. Uh, what if you were to come home and a clown was just like tap dancing? I just leave, and- <laughs> immediately leave. And then the clown squeezed its nose, but Like it when went- we go to Halloween Six Flags, Six that's flags. the only part that actually kind of scares me are clowns with chainsaws i was just going i was going to say clowns or things with chainsaws 
There was one mainly just the chainsaws yeah. though. Like that makes me really nervous. I had a dream once that I was in the woods and I was with a group of friends and then we heard a chainsaw in the forest and then we started we dashed because someone was running towards us with a chainsaw. Then like the following week, this was in sixth grade, I was at Megan and Hillary Wheeler's Halloween party and they had a haunted trail in the back. And then someone started revving up a chainsaw and then freaked the fuck out. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, guys. Hey, uh, if you have children, even if it's a joke, don't put a chainsaw near them. Even if it's to help them cut down a tree, a child shouldn't be near it. Guys, hashtag children chainsaw let us know if you have any childhood chainsaw hashtag stories don't give your children weapons hashtag unless it's freaking nunchucks unless it's a machete oh do you think <laughs> do you think brogan's old enough for me to give him nunchucks absolutely yeah because dude dude barely has an opposable thumb it's just all chunky couple months old that's old enough yeah guys hey give him some nunchucks we start them young around here there's a porn website anyway, called Bring Em Young. Okay, don't do that <laughs> at all. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm barely legal, guys. And speaking of that, uh, I found. I think I found our new Gorma glove gauge. Yeah? How old is Dapu? Dapu. Okay, are we starting the I discussion guess, hey, finally? How, how, how many minutes are we in? Too many. Wait, for, we're only two minutes in? Fuck, then uh, let's keep talking about Bring Them Young. God damn it. Hey guys, if you're listening and you operate that website, let me know. We'd love to have you on the pod. I'm going to shut this whole goddamn thing down. Oh, shut it down. Good thing it auto saves, baby. Also, not unless I throw your fucking thing out the window. Uh, it's surrounded by steel. Steel is something that protects the body. That's why freaking warriors wore it so they wouldn't get stabbed in the gut. So Dapu is a hairless Furby. Yes, he is. Yeah. But he's not all mechanical and uh, uh, Terminator underneath. Yeah. I mean... Eh. You don't know that? Furbies are Terminator pets. Sure. Yeah, guys. Uh, yes, and. You forgot the and part. You were supposed to say, sure. I was supposed to say, yeah, and they're m more dangerous than Terminators. Because like a gremlin, if you get them wet. They freak the geek. They multiply? Yeah. Okay, guys. Hey. If you're listening out there, dip a Furby in the ocean <laughs> and say bon appetit because now it's a salty, sweet snack. It's sweet on the inside with love. It's true. I got to move this, Mike. I want to see your face more. Oh my more. God, then fucking move uh, it. Tell me, Nicole, how old is Dapu? We're going to be asking every guest this. Is that good? I don't know. I don't. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Who? baby we bet oh also guys we have to catch the lightning in the bottle again it's like uh we're starting from zero and we have to catch it but wherever there's Dapu lightning is, there's thunder is 11 but also 30 okay <laughs> i just want to make sure he's legal like 30 on the outside, but 11 on the inside. That's like me. Oh, also. Like the intelligence of a 30-year-old, but the heart of a child. Like uh, health-wise has the heart of a child? No. Okay. I'm a child on the inside. No, I mean, he physically ripped out a child's heart. Oh, nice. I'm a child on the inside because I'm just it. full of fun dip and lick -a made sticks. Hey, what about that kid on the tricycle that was just flying through the air? He's flying so That's probably high the best part. Off to the sky. Right after, there's no time to lick Zanette's butt. Which, I'm going to be honest, guys, there is never not time to lick a butt. If you, it's, if there's a second. Especially if it's right after you blow up a planet. Oh, yes. Wait, whatever you were doing is finished. And on top of that. You got all the time in the world. After a fireworks presentation, either if you're at Disney on whatever day they do that, might be every single night, or the 4th of July. After fireworks, find an ass sure and every eat day. it. Baby. Or like, it's it's very often. Hey guys, let us know. Hashtag Disney firework. No Hashtag S. what the fuck. Ooh. WTF or what the fuck all the way. 
Whatever you want. Okay, man. let me move this. This. Oh my god! Do <laughs> it already. Just not do it in god damn it! Keep... <laughs> That'll be a. Uh, uh, actually, we might put in the. You know, on the Flintstones when he gets move off work. The fucking mic. That's you getting steamed every time you get angry. I'm gonna put in that noise. This series. Oh, baby, Nicole. What noise? Uh, the steam, like the horn. Like work whistle? Yeah, the work whistle. Nicole, do a work, work whistle. whistle. Do a work whistle right no. now. Go shh, 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 shh. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Don't make fun of me because I can't whistle. Shh, 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 shh. There is a song that was comprised of whistles and you were doing a really good job d- doing mm. your version of a whistling along to it. Yeah. It's good. You're beautiful. You You're love amazing. It. It's adorable and you love it. I did. I forgot there was one thing that I James, needed to. James, if you don't move that fucking mic, I you want to know? I'll just talk like this. Is this I good? I <laughs> corner. I'm, I I'm, will fight you. I'm talking like a chipmunk because there's so many words in my cheek, guys. I'm off to the side of the mic, but you can't tell because I got that mic present, baby. Um, what about this? Oh, does that bug the shit out of you? Oh, I can't see your beautiful. Actually, that's bet. No, I still want the mic moved, but. We watched Wreck-It Ralph break internet a couple days ago, and Nicole had a revelation that Princess Penelope is me, and she's Wreck-It Ralph, because I'm the friend who, like, saved you from all this stuff, but in that case, that means... And I'm extremely needy. Uh, no, I don't think you're that needy. How am I Wreck-It Ralph? Wait, you said you were Wreck-It Ralph. Did I? Yes, and then I was confused, because that means I'm your queen, and you're not mine. But oh. hey, it's 2019. A big hey, burly video game about character Ralph can be a breaks queen. The internet. What's that? That's the best fucking movie ever, and you should watch it. Yeah, guys, it's Listeners, good. It's great. Especially at the end where it's looking like a big old bowl what of about, raspberries. What about the bees? I yeah. laughed so damn hard. Don't, but don't give away that joke. I'm not. That's why I just said bees. Bees. And you don't know if it's the letter B, if it's of the Mr. Variety. Our Muskegon fans will get that. Or the insectoid. Do we have Muskegon fans? Yeah, the Fed listens. Ooh, and hey, the... anyone from Muskegon, don't listen to Ranger Command. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, the friends who <laughs> listen to it understand that Muskegon, except the... yeah. This is an argument that people always make for What's Muskegon. Up? Oh, but it's so beautiful around Muskegon. That's got the yeah, lake. Yeah, but the people suck. Yeah, and everything else does too. They're like, e- hey, <laughs> let's put in 50 breweries in the downtown area <laughs> and that will boost everything. And it's like, but you're not focused on the people who need the help the most. And all you're doing is breeding more alcoholics. You're not fucking... What about all... What about the schools that don't have budgets for anything? Yeah, like, wasn't it Muskegon Heights High School? All the time when I when I was in school, we would hear things like, oh, they're going to be shutting down this year. They can't sustain themselves. I mean, themselves. even our school, the art budget got cut by like 30% or something the last year I was there. Yeah. It was ridiculous. How about you put in some classes we actually need, such as auto mechanics stuff. Could have used that when I had a car. Or how to do your taxes. I mean, that's just like school in general. That's not, doesn't have anything to do with Muskegon. But Yeah, well, they got all this money coming in from legalized pot and freaking breweries. Do they? Is that, because I know there were like things that had to happen first. I think it's getting set, but I believe Grand Haven as a township, they're still not going to allow the commercial sale of marijuana. And it's like, you stupid ass people. What about Chicago? Chicago will be 2020. What about Chicago City? It's Hey, Chicago City is going to be goddamn blitz Chicago City because we get blitzed. Hey, it's like five months until I turn 25. And guess what? I can run a goddamn car. Oh. You seriously don't know how much I... I know we just talked shit about how much we hate cars. But being able to just like drive to Muskegon is going to be great. Or even if it's just take the train there and then have a car to go around town. Yeah, like even just to like if there was a way to like rent one from... Grand Rapids or Holland, yeah, just to drive to Muskegon 
and have a car just in case we're at a family's house. It's it's going well, but then someone says something racist. We can jet set out of there. <laughs> we just leave. Yeah. We don't try to improve the situation. No, we don't tell them why don't we try left. To correct them. We'll do a Cord Wallsworth goodbye. Yeah. It's commonly known as an Irish goodbye, but Cord would do that all the time. God, are we going to talk about this episode or what? Yeah, I need to move this mic. Is oh that fine? God, I... <laughs> oh. Where where are we at on the recording? You should get up oh, while no, no, you no, go I, to move the fucking mic. I have a and number. And then you can see for yourself. Whatever you tell me, I have a number in mind that if we are at that time, I will move the mic. But if it is not at that time, no way. What time do you think it is? Uh, what time do I think it is? Probably yeah, 32. Guess. No. Is it under? It's 24. I had 28 in mind. I'm not getting up to move it. God fucking <laughs> damn it. You did that on purpose. No I, no, I really had 28 in mind, but I will be right back. <sighs> Nicole, give us your first note. Or, My oh, first I, note? Actually, can I ask what? you? What? <laughs> what were your opinions on Car Ranger before going into it? And Didn't like it. How do you feel now? Still don't like it. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> That's it, though. I, I, I don't know. I don't like Dapu. I think Dapu is dumb, and I don't like him. I thought that at first, but episode three, I think it was normally completely one eighty. Normally, things with scarves, I'm inclined to love because I just think it's cute when things wear scarves, but. No. I got to start wearing scarves, guys. Do you want to know no, where like, I got all these scarves? <laughs> Damn it. Like if Frank came in wearing a scarf, I'd probably lose my shit. Remember that time I you said, Frank, get me an oatmeal cake. And then... Oh my God, that was the <laughs> most... That was the cutest thing that I'll has ever that happened picture. to me. I, Without Nicole seeing, I snuck Frank into the kitchen I tied around a clip, like a food clip to his neck. Like a chip clip. Yeah. And then, but you know, it wasn't, it was a loose. Like a a necklace or on his collar maybe? Yeah. Uh, I don't think he, no, this was before he was wearing a collar. This is when he was looking like a seal. And (laughs) I pinned that on there. Then I pushed him out and then Nicole saw it and then her friggin' mouth and heart melt. You pinned a cookie that was packaged. Yeah, an oatmeal. Onto his, oh, his neck clip. Not an oatmeal. Did I say oatmeal sandwich or cookie? Uh, it doesn't matter, guys. It's an oatmeal cookie sandwich. Guys, take an oatmeal bath. And it was it's the relaxing. cutest goddamn thing. And your heart and stomach melted. And exploded at the same time. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Uh, guys, it's Car Ranger. I really hope it turns around like it did for me because I remember watching the first episode many months ago. And then I was like, this is not good. Then uh, I kept seeing people say really good things and people were like, it's a comedy. It's supposed to be bonkers. Yeah. And then I watched the second episode. I was like, "Eh, this is pretty good. Watched the third one, turned all around. And I said, I'm all in on Car Ranger. Car Ranger. Cool. Hey, Nicole. Yeah? Yeah. Let me get into my first snow. Oh, my God. So as Hazard Rock was getting destroyed, the Hazard Planet, in the background, you see a Stonehenge. I don't believe it's supposed to be that. But guys, aliens from Hazard Planet came to Earth, into Ireland, friggin' little dapus everywhere. They erected a Stonehenge. Gross. And I think what it was, people are like, oh, wow, it's supposed to be portals or whatever. No, no, no. It's the finish line and the starting line for a race. That's what Stonehenge is. Okay. Guys, let us know what you think of Stonehenge. Hashtag mystery solved. Hashtag your boy. Okay. How's (laughs) how's boy spelled? (laughs) However your heart desires. Can I bring up one thing? So. TC and I were hanging out. TC from What the Hell Mouth. He was sitting on the green chair. I was on this other chair, kind of like close together, but in a straight line. Then all of a sudden, Frank comes down and plops right in front of us. Then Nicole comes in and I just go, your boys are all in one place, Nicole. And hey, it was all of Nicole's boys. And then Nicole said, it was really cute. You guys looking handsome as hell. Nicole, you getting steamy? Yeah. Use, can you use something else instead of the reference thing? 
to fan yourself. <sighs> also, maybe not fan yourself. It might pick up in the mic. Ugh. Take off your little pants. Nicole's wearing the tiniest pants ever. It's just, it doesn't actually wearing them. It's just like on her thigh. It's a little doll pants. It's not true at all. It's yes anding, guys. It's yes kissing to uh, kiss I'm me. I'm sorry. I actually want to talk about yes. the episode instead of be random weirdos. Oh, no. I talked about Stonehenge. That was related. Uh-huh. And Dapu's got some nice birth control around his neck. Yeah. You know, the car magic thing looks like birth yeah, control. Yeah, the M&M birth control. Yeah, guys. Hey, eat a birth control M&M and oh, yeah. You gonna be fucking and you gonna be melting in a mouth, not in a hand. I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, it's what you should be saying is, holy fuck, I've never noticed it before, but... You're so Okay, handsome. so the Wumper <laughs> scene was super trippy. Almost, almost as trippy as Spy Kids. <laughs> Is Spy Kids trippy? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen Seriously, the entire the thing. Seriously, the fact that you haven't seen Spy Kids it blows my mind. I think one time at Zachary Charlo's house... From what I on. remember, that movie is fucking crazy. I was more of a shark boy lava girl, man. It was man. like a nightmare dream. But also, I just like really like the Wompers. I like how yeah. colorful they are. Wompler. Wompler. Womp womp it up. Womp womp it up. So Zonetta's theme is yeah. sweaty and dripping with sex. It is so like womp womp womp. Oh, yeah. I really like the music. Yeah. It's a lot of like, I don't know how you'd put it, like live instruments. Yeah. Like classical. I don't classical, know. Classical. And then there's also that jazzy feeling a lot of the stuff. Like there's like piano and trumpets and shit. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's a car horn doing her theme. <laughs> And hey, guys, I'm sorry, Reen. Uh, move over. Nicole's got a new lady in her eyesight. Yeah, we're talking about Zonetta. No. Oh, you, wait, still you stan Reen over her? Yeah. Her story arc, though, as it goes on, fantastic. She's cool as hell. Oh, you don't like her because you, cool. you're, you're afraid she might sack tap you? Nope. She also seems just on so much Ambien. I don't know what that, I don't know what. Oh, it's a sleeping drug. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't know what that does. It just makes you kind of like, you know, like a very slow Lord song. Kind of, if you were to put a filter on that to make it sound, you know, like that thing that it makes it sound watery and it's like underneath water, that filter I'll put on music sometimes. Yeah. Think of a Lord song with that on. That's what Ambien feels like. So I mean, you just feel drowsy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> People do it to take away the pain. Stupid. I, there was a friend of mine after, I mean, a friend of mine passed away in a car accident and their mom, we hung out a lot at their house and maybe two months after everything happened, I was a bonkers crazy kid as well as a teenager and- And I, adult? Yes. And I was just letting so them the know. So the same. Yes. But I would also like run around with like my penis tucked and be like, hey, guys. And, and don't do that now. I haven't, I haven't mm, tucked in a long time. Sure you still so do it. I was doing something like that. And my friend's mom said, you know, James, at night I take one Ambien for insert friend who passed away here. And then I take a second one because of you. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, she freaking heated on me, but little did she know I freaking fed off that shit. That's the noise that... That's your theme when you're tucked. No, that's... I. Yes, and... <laughs> yes, it is. It's also your theme when you are just simply breathing. God damn it, James. <laughs> you sexy James hell, is girl. ridiculous. I want to kiss you. And give you the world because you're the number one <laughs> super girl. Hey, hey, hey. I'm in love with you every single day of my life. Oh, man. I was going through some old comic books for work. God damn, I love those Superman's girlfriend Lois Lane issues. If you're really just feeling nostalgic for sexism, just 
pick some of those issues up because damn, they're disgusting. Because the title of the comic is Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane. No, that's not why. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying, but that's what people... I mean, that's just the start of it. Yes, that's what people should have in mind before even touching no, the Lois thing. No, Lois Lane, her character in that is just a needy bitch who's always jealous and trying to... Either trying to get married or is getting married. Okay, I was going to say, this sounds spot on Franklin besides the marrying part. A needy bitch? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the thing that like made me think of it was because there was this issue and I was like, that's disgusting was like the more I thought about it because like old comic books back then, like, you know, the cover would just have like the entire an entire story just on the cover. Yeah. Supergirl said, like, even though I'm adopted, I'm glad that we can like go on adventures together or something. Something like that to Superman, but also included like how she was happy about Lois Lane and Lois Lane was just like, oh, they've already forgotten about me. And oh I was like, God. that's disgusting. She's jealous of her daughter and her husband Yeah, spending time together. Like that's fucking gross. Yeah, things used to be like that. I think moms and dads are weird. That could be a real thing of being jealous of your... I think even the Goldbergs talk about it. Mothers or fathers being jealous of their children because it's taking time away from, you know? No. Okay. We, we're not parents, guys. We, we never claim to be one. I thought you were going to say... Stop trying to defend that disgusting comment. Well, no, I, but I did think you were going to say when Supergirl says, Oh, I'm super glad... Because you got to say super. Super. I'm super glad that we can go on all these adventures, my dad, Superman. But, oh, boy, it just started my super menstruation. <laughs> God damn it, James. Man, Supergirl has a super menstruation. No, because it's sexist and written by men. They would never write about that. Oh, yeah. Unless it's like, oh, I'm on my period. No, it would not. That's why I'm so mad. No, it's like there's no justification to their anger. They can't possibly have a bad life. I provide for them. And hey, guys, we just figured out sexism. If men knew about periods, they yeah. wouldn't be sexist. I'm, yeah, I'm sure. There's a new Lois Lane series that just came out. And I was like, if this series isn't about her trying to get married... I don't want to fucking read it. <laughs> oh, you want it to be that. <laughs> yeah. Like I was joking. Yeah. Um, what are, what are we here for? <laughs> Guys, we're here for car. Guys, Ranger. what are we doing? Uh, what's, I literally have like three notes. I love how they have like little cartoon animations. Oh yeah. The it's little really octopus. really fun. In the skeletons. Yeah. Which guys, Dapu freaking zapped them with, I don't know what, but they probably are all much shorter lifespan because of it. How do you know? They, it could be longer. Oh. It's fucking magic, man. Hey, guys, he's got car magic. Yeah. It's like a Carfax, but it's, pff, mystical. But, like, not real. Beneficial. But it is Magic is real. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. You know I'm going to like that in the edit. You, uh, you're <laughs> disgusting. We always, I always joke about that is when you burp into the mic, I'm like, oh, I'm hot and bothered. The shiver all corn. Yeah, you make me want to not do things because... You're so beautiful. Sure. Yes, guys. Well, hashtag Nicole's beautiful if you agree. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> no, Steve F's going to do it for nice no. and then... It Takes Two to Toku's going to do it no. for nice. TC, if they do still listen, no. will totally do it for real. But guys, we got a bunch of brilliant youths. That's what Dapu's mom said. You got to find some brilliant youths. Did she? Either she did or Dapu said, hey, Geki So Sentai Car Ranger, on Earth, there's five brilliant youths just waiting for this birth control pendant. See, and that's... Okay, so I guess that's the issue I was trying to voice during Ranger Command was when the things choose the people and they all just so happen to be friends. It's just like, I don't know. 
Yeah, uh, well, there are some times, I think in Kaku Ranger, they weren't that, oh yeah, that was a hodgepodge of people who just, I think two of them knew each other just because they were in the right place at the right time, and then the rest of them were a hodgepodge. One of them was an American man. He spoke English. But with, like, Megaforce, they just went out and were like, hey, these five kids. Yeah. And, like, that makes sense. But it's because they were sexy teens. Yeah, they needed some sexy teens. Ooh, yeah. For that tiki. Barely legal. God. You gotta know tikis love that barely legal stuff. I wish I had a wizard in my life, a wizard alien, who would materialize me a go-kart. Bripping around the city. Are go-karts illegal in the city? Doubt it. Probably not. They're too low to the ground. People can't see you jet setting. You got a scooter, baby. We got to go up to... We'd have to... scooter, baby. We'd have to tow the go-kart up to the suburbs and use it. Get me one of them... One of them electric scooters. No, Nicole, they're scary. You need a helmet. Then I won't be sweaty. No, you still would be because you'd be like, I'm standing outside and I'm sweaty. Because it's like... 100 degrees out you do one dish when it's mildly hot out and you're like oh i'm dripping in sweat and you actually are (laughs) that's why i don't like doing the dishes in the summer i uh don't even get me started on how much i hate summer oh guys (sighs) everyone's freaking loony crazy nutso in the summertime you know how much bullshit i've had to deal with a lot a lot i didn't even tell you about what happened yesterday oh is it something you can say on the pod i mean yeah if you want to hear it i'm all ears and all headphones for my beautiful love nicole (laughs) so this is a second hand retelling because i was actually at the back computer and I could just hear like Rachel arguing with someone and I was like oh it's just Rachel arguing with someone apparently there was like this drunk lady blocking the door to the store and like Kevin already asked them to move because they were like literally like not letting people in or out so they asked them to move out of the way obviously and then Rachel eventually was just like yelling at them to leave Because I guess there was, like, a family with the stroller and everything, and they just, like, wouldn't move out of the way to let them leave. And the lady was like, oh, yeah, well, you know, I'm a customer, so I can... (laughs) It's like, okay, first of all, it's like, even if you are a customer, that doesn't matter. You're still blocking the fucking door. She's like, I bought part of this freaking store i bought the door and i guess said like yeah i bought a record here once (laughs) it was like well we don't sell records so we have given them away for free and then she said well whatever it is that you sell i've bought (laughs) and rachel was like i just laughed in her fucking face because Oh, my God. And, like, physically, like, spread out her body to block the door. And it's just so ridiculous. See, that's why you need someone like me there. If she was spread out, guess what's not being guarded? Her sides. Give them a little tickle. (laughs) She would have been, and then we could have moved her. We could have tickled her off to the side and people could have gotten through. Well, I think they were standing out there because it was raining. Oh, no. I saw Rachel Facebook about this. Yeah. And it's like, just come inside. Yeah. We're open. So you're not blocking the fucking door. Like, we're just asking you to let people in and out of the store. Or be a little bean pole, go up to the side of the window, and then you can still let people in and out. I don't know, man. Like, people are fucking crazy lately. With all this heat, I just want winter to come back so all the crazies can go back inside. You should have uh, said, hey, you're a pretty shitty door, but I'm about to make you a good one and then punch her really hard and <laughs> oh my a hole God. falls out of her stomach. Just a clean cylinder. Yeah, Kung Pao style. Yeah. But I think he did that with it. No, he did that with his fist. That wasn't with his finger. You got to finger holes, guys. Okay. And then punch new ones. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, guys, that's the way of the world. Okay. The more you know. Anywho. I'm going to change this from comedy podcast 
to educational. (laughs) (laughs) We'd be number one in education. We have the 60 views a week. Guys, please tell a fucking friend about this podcast. Hey, guys, if you're a tourist in just literally anywhere, don't be a dick. Please don't. That'd be great. Also, maybe I need to switch this up because people... Always want to be around the confident art. You know, people in rap music or bands who are like, yeah, we're the number one in town. Yeah, we're they might one. not be. Like you in Gaim, they're like, yeah, we're number yeah. one. So maybe we should start lying about our numbers and say, yeah, guys, we get like 5,000 views a week. Uh, we're pretty fucking the shit. Except they literally always get caught. And then people that are not stupid are like, Yeah, they're dumb. Hey, guys, luckily... But uh, there are, like, a lot of dumb people, so, like, you know, it might actually work. All of our listeners are smart as hell. Yeah, I'm pandering to our... Yeah, and I'm saying that, like, there's more dumb... Maybe there's, like, more dumb than smart. Well, see, what I'm doing is saying, like, I'm making sure our fans know that we think they're smart, even though they're dumb as a bag of rocks (laughs) with googly eyes on them. (laughs) James, James, we need to pander to our main audience, which is rocks with googly eyes. Yeah, you you can do whatever you want to them. Shake them up. They're looking every which way. <laughs> and you can throw them through a They're wall. They're great listeners. You can use them as a paperweight. And you want to know what? You can talk shit behind their back because guess what? They can't move to hear it. And they have no ears. Uh-oh. I see one growing <gasps> googly ears. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. That'd be pretty funny. It's just like two drawings of ears inside a plastic bubble. Googly ears. Instead of pupils. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say instead of pubes. Guys, we got a whole bag of rocks with googly eyes on them. I'm going to rip out some of my pubes and glue them on. Googly pubes. Yeah. (laughs) Or you want to know what? I'll spritz some adhesive over it and then I'll just put up a fan by them. Yeah. And then rip Uh out some pubes and put it in the (laughs) fan and then if any of them get on there and stick hey they're the lucky ones it it would be like getting an onion ring hey guys and fries sign up for a non-existent patreon we'll send you a a pubely eyed rock (laughs) (laughs) oh we use pubes for their eyebrows can we please when we eventually start a Patreon, can like the lowest level just be <laughs> you get sent to Google eye? No, rock. that would need to be a higher <laughs> level because we have to ship we things have to, to people. Mail it, yeah. Rocks are kind of heavy to <laughs> ship them. Mail is measured by weight. And I guarantee you guys, we promise. The more you pay, the heavier the rock you get. <laughs> I was just going to, so people will actually join the Patreon. We will not send you pubes. Ooh, make a pube doll. Unless you pay us more. Nicole, what if I were to like make adhesive eyebrows, but out of my pubes, would you wear them? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm picturing it right now. You walking That's around the disgusting. city with pube brow. <laughs> A unibrow pube, maybe. Thank you. You're welcome. I do. I after this, I would like to pitch a Patreon thing to you. Sure. Uh, but guys, let's get into some notes. And then I, I think I found our... We ask a question to our guests at the end, but we first need to get through I thought through it was these. how old is Dapu? No, that's a Gorma glove gauge thing. I have another thing, and it's it's a slam dunk. How old do you think Dapu is? I think Dapu's got to be, he just seems like not 14, because 14-year-olds I don't think would have this gum shoe. So I, I think maybe 17. Nah. Legal in some states, baby. Uh, Stop. I will. Maybe. You want to know what I will stop? Believing. It's so weird that that was my class song in 2010. Pretty sure it was my class song, too. I fucking hate that shit. I would have been... Taylor Swift would have loved that. You know what? Like, another one was Home by Philip Phillips. Which is actually a good fucking song and from our goddamn generation. But no, they picked an 80s song. 
Journey is Journey. I thought that was even seventies. I don't know, man. It's stupid, and I'm mad about it. Yeah, guys, and you're freaking five years ago. I'm kidding. Nicole graduated. Ooh, she doesn't even want to think days about it. Ago. Well, it would be six years ago now. Oh. 2013, 14? Don't worry about it. Hey, guys. You can't stop her generation. I bam, never bam, bam, graduated. Bam. Uh-oh, guys. <laughs> you and TC have something to talk about. How'd I go to college? I don't know. Oh, wait, no. TC did graduate. <laughs> they did not walk. Also, so this, this was a great thing in this. They were telling their salary... And the female rangers were making more money than most of the men. Only uh, Naoki was making more because he's a designer, baby. Yeah. Hey, guys. Sisters are doing it for themselves. I have one more note, and this was just a... Well, wait, what was the question? I interrupted you. Oh, no, I'm not to it yet. Oh. Yeah, that's the end thing. You were about to say it. No, I was about to say more of my notes. Oh. Kiss me, please. I did put down that if Nicole was going to be kind of like sluggish and like, oh, I want to take a nap. I was going to freaking tickle her. I but, did. And you did. Uh Oh, prophecy came Remember? true. <laughs> Remember when that happened but earlier today? I didn't tickle you. I went to tickle your beehole, but you said, no, 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 my beehole. Which is something I used to do. I mean, it's she an used inside to do. joke. Yeah. He didn't actually do that. Nicole, I don't. What do you remember the full detail? I know I said, "Don't tickle my bio," and then yeah. it became a joke. Yeah, I don't remember the context of it. I tickled your butt. Okay, and you might have like it was maybe like cup of the cheek. I and don't know I was why afraid. you're being so weirdly specific. Because specifics make comedy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I'm going to leave. I'm a little Dapu tonight. I'm cosplaying as Dapu. I'll just How? get elf ears, bald cap, robe, scarf, Dapu. You are like the hairiest person I have ever met. And yeah. Dapu is hairless. Okay, then bald sleeves. <laughs> and I'm wearing a dang thing. Turtleneck? No, I No, he's wearing a scarf. So yeah, I guess a tur- that is a a detachable turtleneck. Turtle neck chain. Uh and then he's Depend wearing a robe. On a light beer. No, you like that? I yes, say I do. that for you. And then I wear birth control around my neck. Yeah. That's a budget Dapu. Or I could just shave my body if you'd like. You got it, coach. If I were to ever shave my entire body, I'd need to have abs and muscles. Do you think I'd be sexy that way? Yeah. Hairless and... Am I sexy now? Yeah. Okay, thank God. Oh, you're saying whatever I am, I'm sexy. Yeah. Yes! Unless I'm freaking dead, then I'm not. Ooh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yes, and baby. Oh, just tussle my dead hair. Let me wiggle on your dead body. (laughs) Oh. Run your dead tongue down my back. (laughs) You actually might like me better that way because then my body wouldn't be a furnace. Unless there's just like a whole bunch of maggots Unless crawling you're on in me. fire. Oh, yeah. A fiery dead body? That's the best kind of body. Sure. Because then you know it's not full of maggots. It's true. Hey, guys. Hashtag body maggots. Let, let, us, oh! <laughs> let us know how you'd uh, kiss, a, kiss a body. <laughs> <laughs> how many more? Oh, I wanted to give a mouth update. It's no longer leaking that sweet cream. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? A mouth update. A mouth update. Yeah, that is, remember I got filled up too much with ice cream and then it started leaking out of my Ooh. gum. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting crazy. Yeah. And crazy. Hey, James, hey, James, I'm Frank. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nicole, I'm Frank. <laughs> oh, no, I got it on the floor. <laughs> so, Frank, a couple nights ago. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally, Frank will poop in the litter box and then one will still be like attached to him. He'll have a little nug. Yeah. And it'll run out and it'll Get that fall. that dink nug, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll fall on. We have this like drawer 
so set up with a carpet on top so he can climb up to the because yeah it's like a step yes we have a long step for him and that's in the back of our bathroom maybe five feet away at the crest of the door because like i i went out of our bedroom and i was like oh frank pooped i think but he had just pooped because he has the stankiest poops we just scoop it and put it and flush it down the toilet Immediately. immediately and I'm like, fuck, man, he pooped. And I turn on the light and right in the doorway, five feet from it, was the largest amount of shit I have (laughs) ever seen come out of him at once. And trust me, I've watched him poop. He thinks it's uncomfortable. Don't you ever remember it? Like when he's facing out of yeah the, and i'm just like franklin franklin sometimes i'll like get to his eye level and i'll be like i'm watching you poop dude and he looks very <laughs> uncomfortable he hates me sometimes especially when i he feed likes him. it when people are in the bathroom though when he's in there no he likes like he waits until we're in there which i hate when i'm taking You're a in shower, the shower and he- <laughs> especially okay there has been once where I'm masturbating in the shower and then I smell just the (laughs) rankest shit and I'm like, fuck, man, I have just boner goes right away and I'm like, God damn it, Frank. (laughs) So then I have to deal with that. Uh, And there was one time where I was in the shower, you know, just having a good time and I turned off. Having a good time, baby. Yeah. I turned off the bo- the jam speaker that I have playing podcast because Nicole was going to come home and I just wanted to like hear her come in. And then all of a sudden I hear this scream and I think it's coming from outside, but it's in the room and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And then it happens again. I'm like, oh no, Frank's about to barf. So he was about to barf on the, the carpet we had. So I had to like drip outside and he does this thing where when you push him away from carpeted area he will walk back and then start dry heaving in front of the carpet and you have to just keep pushing him away from carpet yeah frank usually yells like before he's gonna puke yeah he goes no he goes like and it's yeah terrifying because it was dead silent nothing but the melodic tones of shower water hitting the acoustics and then a freaking blood curling scream drop everything yes make sure he doesn't barf on the rug yeah he's never just straight up barfed on a rug besides that one time (laughs) the the carpet rug that your sister said you have a carpet that isn't clean in your house you have a dirty house then eh. have we cleaned that yet Shh. <laughs> <laughs> that's from like winter time because it's gross i'll get it next time i clean yeah right just throw it in my ham pamp or just let It'll me know and i'll stay in it. there even longer my ham pamp oh hey guess what's still in there his fucking bed from winter time oh yeah because he had like a diarrhea butt It was just like diarrhea that was like smeared on his butthole, but it was like... Get those, uh, get real details. So, uh, let me think. The listeners need to visualize this fully. So let's say anyone who has has had a stretch Armstrong and it pierced, or maybe you had a stretch Ninja Turtle. James, I was being sarcastic. And you pierce it. It, Stop! <laughs> it oozes out a little bit of that stuff, and then if you wipe it away, it'll ooze out again. Stop but it won't. It! it won't like keep oozing. It's just that little bit that will ooze. That was diarrhea on his butt. You're disgusting. And I'm discussing you and Car Ranger. So Nicole, my love, my beautiful queen. Let me see if we have any more. <sighs> yes, my love. We're almost at a year of doing this, of recording. Well, we started in August and we're July now. It's bonkers. Whoa. And I'm so in love with you. Or maybe it was September. Whoa. It was probably September. I'll double check it. And I just want to thank you for coming along for this journey. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because I, I think this is like our 42nd episode of like the main episodes. It's 28, but... Between our Christmas app, Lucha, Lucha, Godzilla, 42. What? Yeah. We're 10 away from a year. I mean, 11 because, or more because two of them were bonus that we released in two weeks. What? 
<laughs> we, I mean, we we released two in one week. Hey, ha ha, ting tang, wada wada, bing bang, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, wada wada, bing bang. Oh my god! All right, I think we're at we're at the end. So <laughs> your be- that beautiful voice of yours in Car Ranger, we have car magic, and car magic comes from these constellations in the in the scars, the stars, the scars, scars. That look Alexander like cars. Alexander Yeah, baby. Tweak them nips, bitch. Uh, that was to the fans out there. Oh, I thought you were saying it to Alexander Skarsgård. Oh, no. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's a sexy man from True Blood. But also not as sexy as me. Definitely not. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. He's not as sexy as me? Not as sexy. As me? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> I'm a Sensi, remember? Guys, guys, no, you can see how, how this is how James is. Yeah, I'm very self conscious about my body, remember? Mason O'Charzak body dysmorphia? Yeah, but like, I wouldn't say that there isn't anyone, like, there are people that are, that exist that are hotter than me. Not in my eyes. That's just a lie. Not in my eyes, my nose. I mean, nose. you literally just said Zonette was. No, no, Zonette is hotter than Reen, and that's who you want to be with. That's who you want to be. If I could be a clone copy of you, even though it would be weird and make out with you, I would totally do that. Just uh, another page in the book of James's weird kinks. Yeah, guys, it's not a ki- Okay, loving one person is a kink, then uh, I guess I'm a goddamn freak. You are. Yeah, guys. Hear my kink. I'm monogamous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, it is a, monogamy is a kink. Yeah. You love one person, and yeah. that's what gets that's you That's what randy. you're into. Hey, guys, I, my kink is Nicole Jacobs. That's That's so sweet. Hey, because I'm in love. Love. Oh, love. I also love. For, I also forgot to say we watched the first episode of Car Ranger today entitled Whoa, "Fighting for did. Traffic Safety." I think that's all I have besides the question. So, oh yeah, we were already talking about it. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character, I guess, Dapu and Zonette. Those are t- my two favorites. Then later on, the sixth ranger. And I think the- Crouch is my <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Crouch? Okay. Crouch is my <laughs> That's his name now, guys. <laughs> the, <laughs> the one that looks like a potato. Yeah, guys. I want <laughs> potatoes now. Give me that Crouch. <laughs> Car Ranger, car magic. God, this is such a horny episode. <laughs> yeah, God, it's because Zonetta's in here. I mean, yeah. No, it's because of... Ooh, you got that muted <laughs> trumpet on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was your question? Okay. <laughs> I keep... <laughs> This it's good. I like you. I like you like that. <laughs> wham, wham, uh, okay. <laughs> car constellations. Yeah. Car magic. Yeah. That's where cars are. Where. Yeah. <laughs> where. <laughs> where they're. <Yeah. laughs> Stop! You're peeking in the mic, baby. Probably in mine too. <laughs> there, I'm liking that. It's restrained, but also <laughs> frustrated. So, uh, uh, <laughs> stop your peeking, dude. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. For all the gift to the world. So, car magic is come from sorry, cars. Did you say- <laughs> <laughs> did- <laughs> Another community reference. <laughs> the community is great, guys. Welcome but- to Ladders. <laughs> That's uh, so we were watching Community last night, and I was in the bathroom. <laughs> My goal is to just distract you from that question for as long as possible. <laughs> and 
I was in the bathroom. We were, it's season three, the flashback episode for season three. And I just hear welcome to, and then I say in the bathroom, ladders and then he goes ladders and nicole's like how the fuck did you know that and it's just because it's one of the best bits in that season because well because they like introduce a bunch of different classes so it's like how would you know that like that one was coming up because he says it and he just eats the yeah. scenery he makes a big deal yeah. out of it climbs on a ladder dramatic ladders. pause Ooh, a pregnant pause <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> car magic. Car magic. Magic comes from cars. So, if you were to have uh-huh. magic, <laughs> where would yeah. you want it to where would you want the yeah. p- Stop. <laughs> Please stop doing that. I'm I'm okay with the yas that are loud but not peeking. So, we podcast with peekies in us. <laughs> we podcast it with peeking in us. That would be the worst podcast where it's nothing but peeking. Where it's, hey guys, yeah, am I peeking? Am I peeking? Oh yeah, so today on the podcast, <laughs> we're talking about Car Ranger, you know where cars come Stop. from. Was I peeking? It's just a block of sound. Yes. Ooh, peek our nipples. Uh, okay, so <laughs> where would your magic come from? Dead ass, baby. So your magic is dead ass. <laughs> your magic comes from ass. You have. I have ass magic. <laughs> I thought mine was going to be obscure, but. So you have an onion booty. That's one of them. And okay, so an onion booty, Terry Ripley, R.I.P., explained an onion booty to me like this. <gasps> Am I still peeking? I'm probably. Uh, it's, it's just just so. It's f- just a solid. Off. I have two middle fingers to Nicole. Please be. So, please be. You know how it's like a dark red. Usually now it's like a pink. Oh my god! Because it's just only peeking. Hey guys, am I peeking right now? One, two, no three. Valleys. I am not peeking. Okay, so peaky podcasting. <laughs> an onion booty is this. So you know when when you cut an onion in half. You got them layers, bitch. So we cut an onion in half or any globe. Take a globe, cut it in half. Shrek 69, 69. Picture a a person with just a flat back and then put that onion on Uh it. That's an onion booty. Sure. It'll also make you cry. You got a bubble butt? Uh, b- yes, you have a bubble butt. You got butt. that flat ass? Yeah, baby. An anime butt, which someone in this room has. Not going to say who. You have a thick daddy ass. You have a plump rump. <coughs> you have just a just a, a muscular glute. A gorgeous glute, we'll call it. I think we have at least five and maybe a sixth. Who would the sixth ranger be? <laughs> What? Yeah, I think like a... a, a That's like 10. Our, hey, guys, it's a big-ass team for a big ass. <laughs> the nerd one, of course, would be the flat ass. I mean, the helmets would be butts, obviously. Yes. Oh, and then... Oh, no, I, I was going to say, and they do have lips on them. Labia. That's... No, <laughs> absolutely not. Oh, Dan, I know you know how to draw from power playthrough. Please draw that up. Dan, do not fucking draw that. <laughs> it's just a butt for the helmet and then you know where the lips normally go Ooh, labia don't menorah majora and you got the hood of the clit don't Ah. and when they're in the heat of the battle that clitoris is erect james i if you don't stop okay so i'm just gonna peek for the rest of that you got dead ass magic my you dead ass magic that just ass magic dead ass that's well, the six ranger. <laughs> They're just really goth. Well, no, dead ass means like I'm dead. Like, like <laughs> dead ass isn't a thing. Yes, it is. People, it's slur. No, it's yeah, not. I mean, slur. <laughs> it's slang. No, yes, it's it is. Not. I'm dead ass. Yes, it means like serious. I swear to Hashtag fucking God. Dead ass. Hold on. I'm not holding on to anything. Don't tell me what to do. That's my catchphrase, remember? No, but it is like I'm dead ass serious. That's what it means. Dead ass. 
I'm okay, searching it. Okay, but you, you're not saying, you're just saying dead ass. No, people will say that. No. They don't, they take out the serious. No, they say dead serious. No, they no, don't no. say dead okay, ass then why, serious. Okay, then why is the first thing that comes up say, what does dead ass mean? Because it's not slang. Yes, it, uh, Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. You could literally type anything into nope. Urban Dictionary. It is the equivalent to results. saying for real, I'm serious, telling the truth, or when a person is dead serious. I'm dead ass serious. Yeah, and, and that's you can why just it'd be say, the goth one, because they're serious. But goths aren't serious. Yeah, they're they little are. like posers who are like, Ooh, yeah. Wow, throwing shade. Yeah, goths need shade because they're so pale. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of dead, my magic would be dead bug because there are so many of them. Gross. They grow at an... You're just constantly have an exponential amount of dead bugs to fuel your magic. That's gross and I don't like it. Dead Why not bug? live bugs? Because there are more dead bugs than there are live bugs. Are there though? Yes. Because there are bugs dying every single day. And, and those, being born. Yes, but those dead bugs are still dead bugs. Just as there have been more dead people than there are alive people right now. Nah. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I would draw magic from dead bugs. It'd be pretty cool. And they, like, form around me, and it's just, like, dried out crusty bugs, like, in a tornado, and then that's my transformation series. Okay, I do have... So you said you had a like formula for the bad guy make em ups for time ranger not for this one though no not for this one oh, okay it's because Never mind. It, the thing with them is it's always like nn nicole or jj uh, james it's always like two letters and then usually an alliteration with whatever that is. Yeah. So it's it's not really anything good. If you want to keep doing the gorma even though we have so many to go through Especially once we finally get to the Morph Bots episode. We have like 10 in that. I'm not doing all of we those. We should, though, give them what they want. Oh, my God. Make sure Pete, Renee, Brian, and Melzer still like us. But maybe we don't do that for this season. Or once we finally get done with all of them, we start asking friends. I mean... I... We have a lot of Gorma to get through. Okay. We've we did at least twenty six ish episodes and yeah. some had two and some had ten. Yeah. We got lots, baby, to go around shaking dead ass and dice. Uh <laughs> how would you transform using ass magic? Uh what would your henshin look like? You know how they have the Excel chargers and they, they have that key and it goes in? Yeah. What would what would yours look like? I don't know, man. I was joking. Oh. I haven't thought this through. Well, too bad. I got stuck with a uh, goddamn the dirt star, and you're gonna get stuck with ass magic. Yeah, but <sighs> mine would be. I would have like a fly swatter, and then on my wrist, on my other wrist, would be a bug. It's like a bug changer, mm -hmm. and I'd smack the fly swatter onto that, and then I would change. Sure. Yeah. I still don't know. Probably like you squeeze it and a little poof of of something comes out. No. Or you just like jiggle it real quick on your wrist and it's it's twerking. No. No, because then the flat ass magic wouldn't work. Maybe you uh, you have a like moist towelette and you have to wipe you it. You uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Okay, it's a butt, and then you have like a card, like a. Oh, like a credit card nice. type thing that you slide. And the cards were super popular a few years ago because yeah. you could sell them easily. Yeah, and did it. And you got to collect them all. Got it. Guys, we freaking did it. Another goddamn episode. We caught that lightning in the bottle again with my betrothed, my beautiful, my favorite person in the entire world. And I'm not talking about Franklin. I'm talking about Nicole. <gasps> If anyone ever comments, man, he says that he loves Nicole too much on the podcast. You want to know what? You can stop listening then. Take that as a compliment. Yeah. Wait, the co the you, listener? You will take that as a compliment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would. 
Yeah. I would still be mad that someone's calling me out for expressing my love to my girlfriend. I mean, like 50% of the time it's a bit, though. I, I mean, I still want you to know that I love you. Yes, I do it at times that makes it seem comedic. Yeah. But I want to see you every day of my life. That's really sweet. What if I got down on one knee right now? Uh, After talking about ass magic, I want to propose to you. I'm not going to. Because someone had to watch Bones and say, well, now I want to propose. It's going to be turned down so low, Nicole. (laughs) It might only be bleeding into my mic. That's how low it will be. It will be louder in my mic than in yours. Okay, are we doing this on the podcast? Doing what? uh... Oh, wait, no, I'm not actually proposing to you. No, I'm just saying, are we having this conversation? Oh, no. Because we originally, okay, okay, listeners, we originally decided that I wasn't into the whole marriage thing. I'm not either. Okay? But he brings it up a lot. I just... Even though he... Okay, here's here's what it is. For real, right now, boiling in my, my body, just like bubbling up is the explosive amount of love I have for you. So like, so, it's extremely possible that we will never get married. Yes, so, but I don't know, a, I just, marriage is the only gesture in our culture that can let me express the amount of love I have for you. It's truly, I. it wants to explode out of me. <clears throat> and I don't know what else I could do. That's really sweet. So uh, I'll figure it out. Game show, Nickelodeon. Billy the answer head. I guess I'll just, uh, I'll buy you a donut every day. Please don't. <laughs> Too bad. We figured it out. Because it's in, it's in the shape of a ring. No, I'd get you some long johns and uh, tiger claws. Get me some uh, cheese danishes. Those are the best. Oh, cheese danishes are too Danish for me. Decadent. Yeah, decadent. Danish is is slang for decadent now. Decadent. Hey, yo, man, this this shit's friggin' Danish as hell. (laughs) (laughs) I love you too. (laughs) I love you. I love you. Okay, people are... We've lost all of our listeners. Uh, Okay, guys, if you like... That was the goal. Whether you like us doing that, I love you or not, let us know. Hashtag dog speak. Hashtag ass magic. Yeah. (laughs) And let us know who... What's the better ranger motif? Asses or dead bugs? Asses. Let us know. No contest. No hashtag. Just let us know at MSS Pod on Twitter and Facebook at MSS Podcast on Instagram, baby. And I think we're done today. Whoa. How far are we? Too far. Oh, <laughs> you know I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay. Yes, please do your pl- uh, We'll do do what? your plugs and then we'll do an improv. Plugsies. Uh, what do I got? Darling Homebody on Instagram. Tumblr and Facebook and then go to darlinghomebody.com to buy cool stuff. Spotlight this episode is gonna be those soft small pouches for holding things such as like dice or jewelry or whatever you want that have a cool design printed in silver. Check it out. Darlinghomebody.com and then read crumb bums and watch mostly sketch and sentai which will have a new one out probably by thursday maybe i don't know okay be on the lookout for it it's like halfway done yeah guys we're halfway there yeah yeah, yeah, hey and we're also halfway there on the podcast we're doing three hours today yeah it's gonna be the mostly sketching we're changing it so that we can get more out instead of like one twice a year it's going to be more of just a drawing video and james is going to make some kick-ass music for it yeah there'll be time lapsed around two minutes yeah, 20 like seconds speed drawing yeah and we'll also we're mainly just going to post them on twitter instagram facebook they'll still be on our youtube page but it'll be easy just to post it directly to social media yeah. instead of on youtube then youtube link onto social media sure yeah guys but we'll still do some classic, mostly sketch and sentais down the line when we have stuff to talk about and 
uh, the drawing can do quick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nicole, uh, yeah. what you want to improv about, baby? Um, give me, I don't a, know. A word? The, Ointment. The name of an animal. Uh, the name of an animal? Why not a duck? Okay. How do you do improv? You just start? You just start. You've done it before on the stage. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know how to do improv. Oh, I thought that was starting your oh, improv. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I dropped, I dropped all this popcorn all over the ground. And uh, if I don't pick it up, all these ducks are going to eat it. But it says don't feed the ducks. Quack, quack. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. I see you dropped all that oh, popcorn. Oh, no, duck, don't eat it. I'm going to get that popcorn. No, don't, I'll get in trouble. Oh, no, you won't. Shh. It's our little secret. Uh, oh, no, I'm so scared. Hey, you see this knife? <laughs> it's our little secret. No. Give me this popcorn. The knife is a secret. No, <laughs> me about to eat this popcorn you dropped is our secret. I'm so scared. Hey. You see this middle finger? How am I doing it? Yeah. It's making my wing do it. It's feathers? I don't know. Hey, so I'm going to eat this stuff. Is that just... No, is that... Do you just find someone's arm on there and you're just using it to flip people off? How do you just have a severed arm? This knife didn't uh, get bloody by itself. Oh, no. Uh, so let me over here and get this friggin'. You can't stop me. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm uh, licking the blood off the knife now. I don't like That's this. the salt on the popcorn. This is, this is so scary. What could possibly stop me? Maybe I, if you threw th something over me, I, a long <laughs> uh, net like thing, but it's know. a solid thing. Ooh, oh I'm going to keep eating this popcorn or, oh no. and you might get in trouble for it. Uh, Jeff, Jeff, help me. Help me. How do I stop this duck? Hey. Help me stop this duck. Nicole, what are you doing? Help me, Jeff. Uh, we. Jeffrey. We just, he just said we need like a net of some help. sort of like a, I guess like a blanket could do. I don't or, think that's, I don't think that'll don't, work. I, it's not thick enough. It's oh, no. It's not heavy enough. Uh, uh only if we had a rug store near oh, us. No. Oh man, oh, but no, even if it did, even if it did, we wouldn't oh. have the money to do it. That's right, guys. Oh, oh you can stop the <laughs> improv now. <laughs> oh, oh, this is all no. I know how to do now. I'm oh, stuck. Nicole broke. I'm stuck in this character. Oh man. Oh no. I think this character. Is... Ass Ranger, save me. Uh, <laughs> Hey guys, I'm an ass oh. ranger. It's twerking too. Guys, please donate to Marshland no, Media. No, please donate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's, you can donate going to mlmpod.com forward slash donate. And if you do, we'll give you a shout out. Right now we're trying to get an area rug in our recording space to dampen down on the reverb, baby. So sounds not bouncing around. Boop, boop. Also, listen to my other podcasts such as What the Hell Mouth, I'll Get There, Hit It and Crit It, and This Movie's Gay. Or listen to my rap music. Download it all for free. All like six or seven of my CDs under Marshland Monster. You can also find it on SoundCloud, YouTube, Facebook, or download it for free on MLMPod.com. That's all I have, Nicole. <sighs> I've been James. We are, we are. And we've I'm been... Nicole. Uh, oh, no. And we've been... I'm Nicole. I've, oh, my God. And we've been... <laughs> mostly speaking... Sentai... <laughs> <laughs> I have to use that as the outro now. Yes. Bye bye. Bye. Hey guys, before we get to the bloopers, I forgot to do my Ultraman Nexus update. Watch one episode, it looks pretty interesting. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, am I peeking on the mic, bitch? Ooh. Nope, I'm looking good. Looking always funny. peeping. Ooh, Frank's always peeping. Peeping, 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 pee
peep, sleep, sleep, peep, sleep. Peep, yeah, he gonna peep, sleep. Peep, what's his little peep, name? Yo, peep, he knows he, me. He, he a little oh, boy who he, likes to peep oh, and sleep. He, hey, oh, hey. He, he, ho, he, oh, ho, he, he, he making peepees. Oh, he ho meow meow when he making sleepies. Don't know anything that rhymes with sleep or peep, except when he's driving in his tiny little Jeep. That's what he has. It's a Tonka trunk. Power wheels, yeah, yo, he's gotten so crunk. When he's doing that catnip, not very much. But you know what? He loves to eat lunch. But he don't get that too often. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> I know you were like, oh, come on, team. You just have to be good to me, I was like, okay, that's one, but I'm done now. This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod and sign up today.